Updated, 12.20 p.m. The civil trial in Anthony Rapp's $40 million sexual misconduct lawsuit against Kevin Spacey is in the hands of the jury. In her closing argument, defense attorney Jennifer Keller revisited the lack of a separate bedroom in Spacey's studio apartment, a room where Rapp alleges he was sexually assaulted by the two-time Oscar winner in 1986, when Rapp was 14. Keller, who has recovered from a bout with COVID that threatened to disrupt the trial last week, called the Manhattan apartment's floor plan the star witness in the case. She also hammered away at the contradicting recollections of Rapp and Spacey, saying the gist of the Star Trek, Discovery actor's allegations are due to his 35-year vendetta against the defendant. There is no evidence that this, sexual misconduct, took place, Keller said, and plenty of evidence that it didn't. In making his rebuttal to the defense's closing argument, the last thing rap attorney Richard Steigman said to the jurors was, I only hope you don't let, Spacey, get away with it this time. Related, Kevin Spacey trial erupts as lawyers clash over Anthony Rapp's testimony that Spacey made advances on others after Judge Lewis Kaplan gave his jury instructions, Keller objected to Steigman's ending line, telling the judge, I think there should be some kind of sanction against Steigman. Kaplan said that the time for that was not now but noted that, should the verdict go against Spacey, that this line language could be an issue for any potential appeal. It shouldn't have been said, the judge told the court. All the while today, Spacey looked intently at the lawyers or jurors, while Rapp mostly stared at the video display in front of him. The jury will deliberate until 4.30 p.m. ET today, unless it reaches a verdict before then. The courtroom will be dark Friday, so the panel would continue its deliberations Monday, if necessary. Previously, 9.17 a.m., Anthony Rapp's lawyer told jurors in the Kevin Spacey trial on Thursday that his client told the truth, consistently over time, about being sexually assaulted by the Oscar-winning actor in 1986 even when that truth was messy and didn't always help his case. In the first round of closing arguments in Rapp's $40 million sexual misconduct suit, lawyer Richard Steigman said that Spacey's only defense at trial was to accuse Rapp of carrying on a 35-year crusade against a fellow actor based on a lie that has had conveniently shifting motives over the years.